It's, you know what is so bizarre? I work with men all over the world and I'll have clients in, you know, in LA, I'll have clients in Miami, I'll have clients in London and every gold digger follows the exact same script. It's like they have a WhatsApp group and they all know what to do, but the gold diggers are, they are literally prototypes, copy paste of each other. They come from deprived backgrounds. First and foremost, they come from very deprived backgrounds, but have very expensive taste. Now, when you come from deprived background, uh, what it does is it puts women into survival mode. Now, if she's come from deprivation and she has the luxury of beauty, the quickest way to get out of that deprivation is to utilize your beauty. Who can you utilize your beauty with? Men with money who have got low self-esteem. You can't use it with men with high self-esteem. So she usually comes from a deprived background. Usually either the culture is deprived or there's no father figure, there's some deprivation but she has very materialistic values now that combination suggests she's going to look for materialism rather than connection the other thing is they don't have a career with all gold diggers they have odd jobs here and there so she'll be she had 10 minutes of a hairdresser 20 minutes of you know real estate half an hour of being an influencer and therefore there's no identity in her career and she doesn't derive any kind of um, satisfaction from hard work so she essentially wants a partner like that she'll also look for somebody who is a lot less attractive than she is so she'll go for somebody who is considerably like perhaps she might be beautiful but she'll choose somebody maybe really super overweight or 25 years older they look for somebody who they are who is a clear fan because only a fan will say yes 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 to everything so they have to manipulate that low self-esteem and they also have very similar friends all of their friends will be the same thing and one thing with gold diggers is they happily introduce you to their friends real women that really love you what they'll do is they don't want you around all their friends all the time because you know they don't want to show you all their pretty friends all the time gold diggers will have all these beautiful friends and invite them over and say they're coming on holiday with us or they, she's going to stay with us a couple of days she's going to come and do it. and the reason they do that is they want to create a, a physical barrier between them and the guy they want to add somebody into the mix so that they don't have to get too close to this guy. And the friends are all in on it. They're like, oh God, I've got this new sugar daddy. Can you come with me? Because so they don't one. have to be intimate? They, so they don't have to be intimate. Wow. This is a trick a lot of gold diggers do. And they'll sometimes call me. They'll say, do you want to come to dinner? Because I don't want him to kiss me. And I was like, no, no, I'm busy today, but you guys have fun. So they add physical barriers to them and their partner. And the sex is very intermittent. When they need something, they are so affectionate and so sexual but when they get what they need they disappear for two three days and they don't let you touch them and they've got a headache for six weeks so it's the signs are very clear but with men who are so desperate to be loved they will believe anything to feel loved particularly by a beautiful woman and i always say it's almost your own fault when you make beauty a priority you suffer the consequences because it's a shallow vacuous quality to make as an essential ingredient for a connection so you almost deserve the punishment of a gold digger it's universal i think what's happened is there's youtube channels and there are like instagram profiles that teach women the tricks so they have all these similar tricks and they all kind of like work together and it's a great i have no problem with gold diggers it looks like i do because i talk about it quite a bit but the reality is if a man is dumb enough and is shallow enough he's just as shallow as a materialistic girl the man who will literally, you know, leave his wife and kids because somebody 20 years younger is giving him a bit of attention. He's just as shallow as you are. So if you want to use him, he's also using you as an ego boost. He has nothing in common with you. What does this man have in common with a 22 year old in Dubai when he's an entrepreneur and a CEO of a really successful company? What does he have in common with an influencer? Nothing, but he just wants the ego boost. So he's just as shallow and therefore I don't feel any guilt. I, I, I'd be like, don't feel anything. It's, it, both are shallow as each other. You're almost a perfect match. Right.